I've looked over thousands and thousands of SAT questions, and these two are two of the hardest ones. Enjoy. Question number 27. What is the sum of the solutions to the given equation? So first, I'm going to try to simplify everything so I can kind of create a quadratic or just a simple equation. So when we distribute the 5 to x and 5 to the 7, end up with 5x plus 35. And on the left side, what do I get? Or the right side? I get 15 times x minus 17. But first, before I distribute the 15, I'm going to just do x minus 17 times x plus 7. We have to remember FOIL, which in this case is F O I L. F is first, O is outer, I is inner, L is last. First, we do x times x, which is going to give us x to the second power. For outer, we do x times 7. x times 7 gives us 7x. And then for inner, we get negative 17 times x, which is going to give us negative 17x. And for last, we get negative 17 times 7. Those are the last terms, which gives us a total of negative 119. And then what do we do in this case? We can combine like terms. Give me x squared, 7x minus 17x gives me minus 10x, and then minus 19, or 119. And then we have this times 15 in the front. So when we do that, we can kind of just distribute the 15 to x squared, which gives us 15x squared, 15 to the negative 10x, which is going to give us negative 150x, and 15 to the negative 119, which I'm going to do right here, 119 times 15. That's a 45, that's a 9, and that's a 5. Now I get 9, 1, 1 gives me 5. 9 plus 9 gives me 18. Let's carry the 1, 7, and 1. So I get minus 1, 7, 8, 5. And this is all equal to the side, which is 5x plus 35. Then what I could do in this case is I'm going to move everything to one side just so I can have 1, 0. So I have minus 5x minus 35, minus 5x minus 35, carry that. So this gives me 5x and 35 to cancel out, giving me 0 is equal to 15x squared. Negative 150x minus 5x gives me negative 155x. And then this one, negative 1785 minus 35 gives me a total of minus, that's 0, 2, and 8. So 1820. Now, since they're asking for the sum of the solutions, we actually don't have to solve this because this looks super complicated. What we have to remember is that the sum of the solutions in a quadratic is just equal to negative b over a. So simply put, this is what is the value of a, b, and c. This value is a, this value is b, and this value is c. So negative b over a is just negative of negative 155 over my value of a, which is 15. Negative, negative 155 just gives me 155, positive over 15. Simplify, divide both sides by 5. What do I get? I get 31 over, divide by 5, 3. And that's my answer, 31 over 3. Now, this question is a bit of a tricky one. Question 20. In line M in the figure above has a slope of 2, and the shaded triangle has an area of 24 square units. What is the slope of line L? Okay, so I noticed that it gives us that line M, which is this line right here, has a slope of 2, and I can see that this point is 0, 0. So what's the equation for line m? It's just going to be y is equal to 2x, because it has no y-intercept, because it's 0, but it has a slope of 2, so it's 2x. And then, what does that tell me then? Then it could tell me this point right here, because this has an x-coordinate of 3. Plug in 3 right here, I get y is equal to 2 times 3. Give me y is equal to 6, so this point right here is actually 3, comma 6. And then what can I do from here? Then from here, I figure out that this height from 0 to 6 gives me a height of 6. Now, how do I use that information? Because it tells me that the area is 24 square units. So I have to figure out the base of the triangle because I know the height. What's the formula for the height of a triangle? It's 1 half base times height. And that's equal to 24. That's the area. And then I know that 1 half times my base times my height, which is 6, is equal to 24. Simplify 1 half times 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3b is equal to 24. Divide both sides by 3. I end up with the base is equal to 8. So it means that this coordinate right here has to equal to 8, 0. Because from here to here is 8 units, so it's just 8, 0. Now, what do I do to find the slope of line L? Sl slope of line L, which is this line right here, passes through what two points? It passes through this point, 8, 0, as well as this point, 3, 6. So we have to use this equation where the change of slope, as we know, is y2 minus y1 
over x2 minus x1. So this I'm going to call y or x1, y1. I'm going to call this x2, y2. So plug those points in. y2 minus y1, that's 0 minus 6, divided by x2 minus x1, which in this case is 8 minus 3. And this is pretty easy to do. 0 minus 6 gives me negative 6. And then 8 minus 3 gives me 5. So it means my slope for line L is going to be negative 6 over 5. Also meaning my answer has to be choice B. I hope you guys enjoyed these two math questions. And let me know in the comments what other two or what topics I should be doing next.